It's important to know that none of this is required. You can just stand there and enjoy the show if you truly want. If you've been to an idol show and you've seen these maniacs jumping around or people shouting and you thought, how do I do that? This is the video for you. Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm an idol performer and longtime idol fan. It's a rainy day, I'm feeling relaxed, I'm feeling ready to get to this deep dive with all of you. <laughs> We're gonna only be scratching the surface here, covering the absolute basics, but everybody's gotta start somewhere. It could be really overwhelming when you attend a show and you hear people shouting unintelligible words at a performer, so let's break it down a little bit. We're gonna be talking about wotage, calls and mixes, and footy copy today. Keep in mind that a lot of wotage is super customizable, so it depends on local communities, your personal experience, things like Anisung, Chika Idol, Alt Idol slash Anti Idol, and mainstream idol culture all have their own ways of doing everything. Even international idols have developed their own sort of mix of all of these, which I think is really interesting. While there are some universal truths, all of this is based off of my personal experience and other people within the community that I've talked to who are a lot more experienced than I am. The best way to learn is experiencing it yourself when possible, and if you ask me, there's no wrong way to do it. Before we get too far, let's briefly talk about why do we do this at all? Now, this is more my perspective than anything else, but part of what makes Japanese idols so different from other types of musicians is that their concerts are truly interactive experience. I consider it a symbiotic relationship. The idol is performing to inspire the audience, and the audience, in a sense, is performing to inspire the idol. And also, it creates a more fun community experience than simply drowning out the performer by everybody singing in unison. As a performer myself, I can say that even when I think I'm giving it all that I've got, if I hear somebody shouting a mix with all they've got, it really pushes me even harder to put on a good performance. Also, it's just so much fun to be a part of the show, whether it's making eye contact with your idol and mimicking their moves, or looking at your friend and shouting until your lungs give out, it truly creates a special experience. Most of what I'm referencing in this video are from a few amazing guides that were created by people within the community. I'm not going to include everything from those guides in this video, so if you want to learn more, please go check it out. But let's start with Wotage. What does this term mean? I've seen it really used as an umbrella term for all of Japanese wota culture, but if you're breaking it down, wotage specifically refers to the type of dancing done at idol shows. Typically done with pen lights or glow sticks, it looks like this. Admittedly, this is my weak area when it comes to idol culture, and I think part of that is because it's kind of become its own thing separate from idols. Idols are always the core, but they have their own competitions for the style of dance, separate gatherings outside of idol concerts, etc, etc. And these days, you don't see this type of dance at idol concerts as much. I actually feel like this style of dance is really still prevalent in maid cafe culture. However, its roots are a big part of idol culture, and a lot of the m common mixes and calls come from this style of dance. If you are more knowledgeable about this than me, I would love to hear your comments down below. But the most immediate part that you'll notice about idol concerts, whether you're watching on videos or experiencing them in person, are calls and mixes. One of the great things about Japanese calls versus K-pop or other Western groups that might have something similar is that they're very plug and play. Meaning, even if you don't know a song or group, if you understand where these calls fit in a song, you can add them pretty much anywhere. This is one of the pros of pop music being kind of formulaic. It works really well. There are basic universal calls, but there are song and group specific calls as well, so it's something to keep an ear out for whenever you're watching your favorite group's videos. So let's learn a few simple calls and where to use them. Most of these are going to be counts of four and eight. A high chant. This is the most basic call, and it's just saying hi on the downbeat of the song. Typically this is done during instrumental breaks, but high is often used as a sort of filler as well. Sometimes you'll hear two or four highs at the end of a phrase to help fill the space. If you have a pen light, you can do a motion that's called the standard footy, which looks like this. You also don't have to have a pen light, you can just use your fist, get involved, start dancing. We'll talk more about footy in a bit. When in doubt, high chant. It's a good way to just be vocal, let the idol know that you're paying attention. Ooing, sort of a step up from the high chant, it can usually be heard as oh, hi, oh, hi. Though sometimes you won't hear the hi at the end and it'll be two claps like this. Oh, oh. This call is 
mostly done during parts of a song that you're building hype. For example, like a pre-chorus. P-P-P-H. My favorite of the basic calls, when it hits, it hits. The letters stand for Pachi 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 Hype. And as discussed in our last video, Pachi is the onomatopoeia for clapping. So it goes like this. Hi. 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 And you do that motion with it as well. And if you're standing, you will see people jump on the hype. This is also typically done during a pre-chorus where the claps match with the beat. You'll be able to feel where that. Fuwa fuwa. There's a few different combinations for this one, but I'm gonna cover the one that I see the most. Mostly done during a chorus, the chant goes like this. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Sometimes you'll hear four fuas instead of two. Sometimes you won't hear the claps too. It really depends on the rhythm of the chorus, so feel it out. Hear what other people around you are doing. After the fuwa, you may also hear hi seno, hi, 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 hi. Again, depending on the rhythm of the chorus. There are a few sort of call indicators, as I call them, that sort of signal when the next call is about to happen. Hai seno is one of them. Ja ikuzo is another one that you'll hear as well. Basically, it's just saying, everyone, here we go! <laughs> call and response. I'll briefly touch on this as it varies so much, but the most common song-specific call is going to be a call and response, which typically is just repeating whatever word they just said or something that's relevant to the song. Here are a few examples. I personally don't love when songs are super heavy in this type of call just because you have to know the song in order to do it, but it's still a lot of fun. These calls might have minor tweaks to them, but experiment, have fun, don't be afraid to mess up, and listen to what's going on around you. If there's nothing, nobody will know if you're wrong. <laughs> the performer will always appreciate the effort. My, my camera battery's dying. Ah! <laughs> now, let's talk mixes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just straight up read because I don't want my camera batteries dying. <laughs> Mixes are a series of words thrown together to fill long instrumental breaks, and there are many of them. <laughs> One of the guides linked below is by a fellow community member and has an extensive list of different mixes. I really recommend reading it. When in doubt, any 16-beat gap in an instrumental can be filled with the standard mix. You can also just do the high chant, but if you want to spice it up a little bit, throw this in. right before the call can vary slightly, but this is what I hear the most. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, ja, ikuzo, taiga, faya, saiba, faiba, taiba, vaiba, ja, ja, faiba, waiba. So in English, it's tiger, fire, cyber, fiber, diver, viber, ja, ja. Why is it these words? I don't know. It just is. <laughs> There's actually a document that goes over the history of mixing. It frankly boils down to people like the way the words sounded. If you don't know the words exactly, it's fine. Just keep practicing. Sometimes if there are a few extra beats after the 16 count, you'll hear Fibo Waipa. Again, I don't know why those words. I just work here. <laughs> now, once you've got that down, in other instrumental breaks, you will hear the Japanese and the Ainu mix most common. They're used the exact same way during other instrumental breaks or directly after the standard mix if there's a long enough break. What gets fun, especially in more underground idol circles, is that a lot of these get combined and mixed together. People's names get thrown in. There's a lot of different ways that you can have fun with mixing. It's truly a large rabbit hole of a lot of different ways to have fun with it, but don't get bogged down by needing to memorize every little thing. It goes without saying that not every call can be put into every song, and how do you know when to use them? Honestly, it just takes practice. You get used to where they typically fit in, and as a result, you end up learning a lot about music structure. If you can't go to idol shows quite yet, watch concerts online. I can't stress this enough. There are so many good videos out there of concerts. Keep in mind that Japan had a no-call rule that happened in 2020 as a result of the pandemic that only very recently got lifted, so I would try to find either very recent concerts or anything prior to 2020. Search your favorite group or song with live after it. Likely there will be a video. Some groups still don't allow filming at their concerts, but most of them do at this 
Now, let's talk foodie and foodie copy briefly. If you don't like shouting, this is a great way to still be involved. And while you don't need a pen light, if you have one, this is the time when you can use it. Foodie just basically refers to the arm motions that happen that you do during Wotik. We've covered some of them already, like during the high chant or during PPPH. The next most common foodie that doesn't have a call with it is Ketcha. Ketcha is during, done typically during slower parts of the song. Think of it as pushing the energy up to the idol. That's how I think of it anyway. <laughs> If you don't have a pen light, you'll typically see an opening and closing motion of your hand like this, or even a clap on the downbeat. Like that. Footy copy, however, it's in its name. You are copying the member's dance moves, but idols will typically help you through it if there are parts of the song that are meant to have footy in it. If you're a performer yourself, help your audience out. Some Woda do footy copy the entire song and are basically just doing a dance cover from the front lines, <laughs> but some songs have specific things that are choreographed for the audience to do it with them. Here's an example. Pay attention to your surroundings, don't be afraid to make a mistake, and just do what feels fun for you. Now, get practicing for your next idol event. Next time you're listening to some music, try to think if you could fit any of these calls in. Once you've learned the pattern, you won't be able to stop doing this. <laughs> now, let's quickly talk about our idol recommendation. The first group that I want to talk about is Dot .BPM. They're a smaller idol group in Japan who have really dynamic concepts, amazing vocal and instrumental production, and have a ton of lives uploaded on their YouTube channel. They're really active on Twitter as well. I'm a little biased because they are one of my favorite groups. I also would recommend iLife as well. A lot of their songs actually have the mixes built into the song, so you can learn them really easily that way. The overseas idol that I want to recommend to you today is Melancholia. Music is intense and his performances will leave your jaw on the floor. Seriously, there's so much passion here. He's also started his own idol group called Seeker, so if you're looking for more male idols to follow, there you go. <laughs> That's all for today. I do plan on making a part two with some more intricate wotage later in the future. So let me know if there's anything specifically you'd like me to go over. And I look forward to shouting with you at the next show. From the stars in the sky, I'm Alex Pinku. Goodbye.